Here's Movie Collector. Supposing we have a movie adaptation and we want to add it to our movie database. We simply go edit, add movie automatically, and key in adaptation. And click search now. The one on the top is the one we're looking for, the default 2002. It appears over here and we'll click on the title once more. Then it appears with the cover page and we simply click add. And then we we'll close. <clears throat> now, right up at the top here somewhere we should see uh, that uh, movie. And right click and edit the movie and uh, so let's suppose we ripped that movie to our hard drive and that it's on a folder called movies one we click on links and down here on this first tab we click to add movie file and we go and look for movies one which is on drive C And we look for adaptation, here it is in the folder. And we click on the API file and go open. Now let's suppose we've added a half a dozen or a dozen movies to our database and we want to export the results to our popcorn hour. We go file export to HTML and we check to make sure that it says all movies alphabetical well actually it's already set it's the name of our index file and the NMT A100 so everything is fine so we cancel we'll close off the program other stuff that's open and we go into My Documents, Movie Collector, Templates. And that's where we should have extracted our zip file for the Movie Jukebox script. And we double click that to start it. And it comes up with the name of the folder in which I'm putting the uh, jukebox and then the name of the index file it asks if I want to export the actor directory or director BIOS and HDM files and the answer is no because we've already done that and uh, I don't use the program Orphan View to clean up the movie cover thumbnails I've just found that it's too slow and uh, I don't use image, image magic for the same reason and other reasons, which I won't get into. And it says uh, it wants to know if I want to keep my new filters and sorts in place. And I say yes. And then the export starts. And the length of time this takes depends on the number of movies. And it depends on whether we're doing a complete export or whether we're just uh, doing uh, a partial update. In this case here, it will probably take anywhere from 15 minutes to a half an hour. At some point it starts going like this. What the script actually does is it automates a series of uh, mouse clicks so that it goes through much much faster than if you had to do it yourself now it's automating the uh, selection of genres 
going to adventure now. We have over 600 movies in this collection. I was just about finished adventure. When it's finished, it simply says, all done with the movie export. Finally, now we come downstairs and have a quick look at the TV screen and see if the update has worked successfully. Shoot box. We go to the A's. And, for example, we can find a, a movie adaptation. It's actually up at the top line there. Move across. There it is. And we press the play. Or actually the enter button. It says buffering. And the movie starts. Do I have an original thought in my head? My bald head? Maybe if I were happier, my hair wouldn't be falling out. Life is short. I need to make the most of it. Today's the first day of the rest of my life. I'm a walking cliche. I really need to go to the doctor, have my leg checked. There's something wrong. A bump. The dentist called again. I'm way overdue. If I stopped putting things off, I would be happier. All I do is sit on my fat ass. If my ass wasn't fat, I would be happier. I wouldn't have to wear these shirts with the tails out all the time. Like that's fooling anyone. Fat ass. I should start jogging again. Anyway. Thanks very much for watching another YouTube presentation of the Popcorn Hour.